Stanford University. Looking at these structures, um, I don't think this, they had any chance of survival uh, under an earthquake. Even a moderate size event would have toppled these buildings down, perhaps not in such a catastrophic manner, but w would have sustained severe damage in any case. This earthquake was a very large event, and they had absolutely no chance of standing up. We have seen similar damage elsewhere. Um, they have no strength. Um, to resist the deformation, the kind of deformations, the kind of forces, the kind of horizontal forces that are imposed on them. There is no reinforcement going from the column to the beam or from the column to the slab. The very flimsy columns, very heavy floors, and there's just no way they can survive. The structures that are within, I would say, 50 to 60 kilometers, maybe even 100 kilometers from the rupture zone of the fault are going to be affected. Uh, so this covers practically the entire city of Port-au-Prince and neighboring smaller towns. Uh, all the structures are likely to, uh, to be affected. The devastation I expect to be tremendous. The amount of the type of energy that is released from such an event is so devastating it can be equated to comes close to a nuclear blast. Uh, if I may say so. We can, we can see Haiti in five to ten years. It usually takes about ten years to rebuild an area after such large devastation. Uh, but over the ten years, it will, uh, it will take the resources, both financial and uh, as well as the right kind of uh, human resources to put together a plan on how to rebuild in the right way, to rebuild uh, in terms of the, the correct planning uh, the pol uh, correct um, type of in infrastructure. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.